We're reporting from Westminster News Online, and we was wondering if um, you think that film classifications have become more lenient over the years. So, for example, you said that there were a lot of complaints about The Dark Knight being rated a 12A, whilst a few years ago films like Billy Elliot were being rated 15. Well, I think it's, it's not as simple as saying they've become more lenient, because what happens is it's a sort of dynamic change. So uh, some areas become more restrictive, or put it another way, the classification might move up, and in some areas the classification may move down. For example, parents have become less concerned about nudity, they've become more concerned about discriminatory language, and so discriminatory language now might be treated in a, as a higher classification level than it used to, and nudity might be dealt with at a lower classification level. So are there changing levels of classification due to what is now socially accepted as opposed to how we accepted nudity or violence or sex in previous years? Yeah, well, we classify material. Uh, one of the reasons we classify it, not the only reason, is to help parents reach a decision about whether material is suitable for their children. And so we, have, we take account of what parents think is suitable. And so every four years we go out and we do some research about levels of acceptability, and that influences our decisions when the new guidelines are published. Mm -hmm. Um, also, last question. Um, will filmmakers always looking to push the boundaries? So, like you spoke about earlier with the Serbian film or the Human Centipede, films are becoming more crude, more crass, more violent. Does that kind of make it harder to put it into perspective what an 18 might be and what a 15 might be? Well, I'm not sure films have become more crass and violent. I mean, once you get to 18, you're talking about leaving the decisions open, in the great majority of cases, to the adult. That is, you're over 18, you must now make a decision about whether you or not you want to go and see this film. I don't think it's changed the borderlines of what's acceptable. What's happened is, again, when we do our research, we look at the, we look at the borderline issues. Where should a 15 fall? Where should a 12A fall? But so far as films classified 18 and above, so far as possible, the public should be able to make their own choices about what they go and view.